What's up, YouTube? You're tuned into the Woods Walker Society. You know, I recently did a video where I took the mini camper out, and even with all my gear, all bundled up in a 20 degree sleeping bag inside the camper, my feet still got cold. So you know what I'm doing today? Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a heater out of another simple little can and teapot candles. Let's get it. Now for this video, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a hammer and all that good stuff and a drill and some pliers, teapot candles, your can, obviously, and the lid, don't lose the lid. Probably gonna need that angle grinder too. If you don't have an angle grinder, you can always use hand cutters. Now the first thing we gotta do is we gotta take our lid here and this lip with all these sharp edges, we're gonna crimp that with pliers all the way around and then that's gonna be uh, kind of like a ceiling, gonna also, hold it at an angle inside the can like that to direct the heat up and concentrate it. Just crimp it all the way around. Once you have the edge crimped all the way around like this, then you're just gonna flatten it completely. Next step. look just like this when you're done. Now the goal is to have the lid sit into the can like this. The heat will rise, hit this ceiling, go that way, and it will be concentrated. In order to hold the lid in place, I'm just gonna use a simple little L bracket, maybe a pop rivet or some screws, whatever you got laying around. You're just gonna attach this to the lid. Now I just took the L bracket put it on a concrete floor and hit it with a hammer. See, it's not quite at a 90 degree. Now it's more like a 70 degree. That's kind of what you want to do. That's where we're going to start. Next step's going to be to secure our aforementioned L bracket onto the lid. So we're going to start by drilling a hole and getting some hardware in there. Got to mark our hole. And then drill. We're going to, we're going to try to cram a pop rivet through there see if it'll hold. Should look similar to this. And then just pop your rivet onto there. Next, once you've reached this point, you wanna figure out how you want it to sit within your can. Now, I want mine to sit about like that in the can. So the only way to do that is to cut a hole so I can get my hand in there. So let's get to it. Flip your can on the side mark how big of a hole you want. So I've got some pretty big paws on me. So I'm gonna make a pretty decent sized hole. One big enough for me to get my hand in there and light these candles. Once you got your hole marked, get to cutting. Should look like that when you're done. You can keep this if you want to. You don't have to. I'm going to because I'm gonna put a hinge right there so that I can open this up so we're not losing any heat through the through the hand hole. And bam, a few pop rivets later and a small little crafting hinge. We got a nice door we can open up. Isn't that nifty? Next step's gonna be to mount our little heat ceiling inside of our heater. Now you gotta be able to get a drill bit through there. So you wanna give yourself plenty of room. I'm gonna say right about, there's perfect. Once you got your hole made, go to the back side, ball that out a little bit. Once you got your rivet on the inside secured to your L bracket, just like thusly, see in there, the heat from the candles will rise, hit here and it will be forced upwards. You'll get all your heat coming out right through here. It'll concentrate it. Now, I always keep knickknacks lying around. As you can see, I've just got tubs and tubs of nails and bolts and all kinds of random things in my garage. I keep that stuff because it's for tinkering like this. Out of an old lampshade post, got a nice nifty handle. Finger fits in there, shouldn't get too hot. Now I can open and close the door. Now the next thing we need to do before we go and actually fire up our little heater, 
We need to find a way to hang this because it is going in the mini camper. So we don't want too much heat to be on the surface up against the wood of the mini camper. So I've just got a bit of some old steel wire laying around here. I'm going to drill a hole here and a hole here. Tuck this in, give it a nice bend, and we'll be ready to stick some candles in this thing and see if she lights, guys. See if she puts off heat. Already got my hole marked. Get to drilling. So in there just like thusly. Coming together, y'all. It's about time to test this thing. I just gotta bend these up. We'll be able to fill it with candles and light it, see if she puts off heat. Got all our candles. Let's get them lit, get them in there. And there we have it. All the candles are in there and lit. We're gonna shut our little door on this thing. Just like that. And let's see what's going on in here. Oh yeah, some good heat coming up right through here. Ought to heat the little mini camper up nicely. What do you guys think? Here I am inside the mini camper, got the little heater going, and she is, oh boys, she's putting off some good heat. Now I don't expect it to make it like 70 or 80 degrees in here. I just want it to take the edge off, five, six degrees. So if it's a negative 10, then, you know, it might only be, negative four in here or if it's 20 outside it might be 26 in here just that little bit could make a world of a difference as far as comfort goes when you're out here in a little diy camper just like this say hi blue yeah such a handsome boy good boy blue yeah he's a good boy now me and blue we've only been in here for about five or six minutes and already i can feel it starting to warm up so it might do better than i think the only way to know is to test it, but that's for another video. So if you like this video, this is the kind of content you want to see. Drop a like, subscribe, you know, leave a comment down in the comment section. Let us know what you think. And on that note, peace. Cue the outro.